Greetings everybody, welcome to top 5 free desktop recording programs. I will be introducing you guys to the best programs that I have reviewed and that I think are worth your time to take a look into and maybe use for your next desktop recording. Now why should you watch my video as opposed to others and take my advices and follow this list? It's because I have reviewed these programs thoroughly and I actually have a review video of each of these programs on my channel which you are free to check out. I will leave links in the description and also in the comments below i think for somebody who is just starting to make videos it's very useful to find out what the best programs are and what features do they offer which i will try to demonstrate in this video here's how this is going to work i'm going to showcase each of these programs really quickly give you a couple of most common strengths and weaknesses of each program and also give you a quick summary but for more detailed review on each of these do check out my free desktop recording software serious however don't worry even if you don't find the program that you can use on your low-end computer in the free list i will release another list that will help you out so do stay tuned and watch out for that video anyhow let's get started with the list number five share x while this program was made mainly with capturing screenshots as a focal point it still can record videos. It's well organized, simple and quick. However, even with this organization, some items in menus do the same thing while being named differently. So while clicking tools screen recording starts recording your desktop, same goes for workflows start stop screen recording using custom region. And you guessed it, that two GIF options are also mirroring each other. It's clear that it was about taking screenshots, as organization in the main window shows how easy it is to find the screenshots you want, and there it gets a clear 10 out of 10. But being unable to record both desktop and microphone sounds, as well as saving to common audio and video formats, leave you wishing it could do just a little bit more, so you can finally settle down. However, it's still great program and out of five it's probably on top of the list for low-end PC users so give this one a try if you fit this category. If developers decide to put more time into video recording capabilities I have no doubt in my mind that this program will be higher on the list next time but for now it's number five. On to number four, Cam Studio. Like I said in my review video of this program, it's a monument and a relic to golden age of YouTube. You longtime YouTube users will surely remember this one, as it was great alternative for Bandicam, which would slap a huge logo on top of your recording. Well, Cam Studio did not do that. In fact, Cam Studio allows you to add your very own watermark and protect your videos from being stolen. As this was popular practice around 2009 and 10, this one came swooping in to save the day with Cape and all. Also, all those Notepad tutorial videos with music, yep, they most likely were recorded with this one. Bonus points if you remember GMR.com. In this tutorial I'll be showing you a little known program called Cam Studio. Cam Studio uh, is the program I'm using. However, last release was in 2013. I guess this one is sort of like Fraps. It's good but old, which can come back around to haunt it. While being able to record microphone sounds and audio sounds, you cannot record both at the same time. With watermark and audio formatting capabilities, but lots of limitations on those and options it has in general, surely don't keep users using it. And it has some controversy behind it, which I talk about in my review video that most likely made users keep away. However, it still comes with tons of options from auto panning, highlighting cursor and its clicks. It's still good program. And it's not to say you can't get by with it today. Oh, you surely can. This is also another one on list for low end users to check out. Number three, Flashback Express. One of the first programs I reviewed it has plenty features and for a beginner this will be a field day. It allows you to choose which monitor to capture, if you do have multiple ones, or all of them at the same time. What surprised me is this program is capable of recording ASIO device as well. Browsing through the settings I noticed it has an option to record microphone audio into separate track. 
However, exporting process simply does not allow you to save that extra track, which means this feature is pointless. It also has options to tidy up your desktop, as I like to always hide my desktop icons so those funny guys don't leave comments like, so many icons, but and there is a but. This feature overwrites your desktop setting for hiding desktop icons or showing. Which means if you hide your icons using Windows settings and then start the recording, once the recording is done, it will show desktop icons once again, but it will not change the setting. Checkmark is not there. So you need to click this option twice to make it work again. And this is sort of a theme with this program. It has a feature, but it's broken in some ways or simply not working. However, even though it has these issues, it can record 400 frames per second. I didn't confirm it, but the option is there. And options are there to tidy up desktop, which you can work with. Also, highlight the cursor. So, like I said in my review video, which I recommend you to check, it does have tons of great features, especially for a beginner. Number two, surprisingly, it's an online recorder, a PowerSoft online screen recorder. Just like the name says, this program is actually online. And you know what that means? It means almost everyone with low-end PC will be able to use it and record videos. I hope. Yes, this one is probably your best bet. It's so simple that anyone can figure it out in first 30 seconds. Surprisingly, also it has lots of options like hiding desktop icons. It can also highlight your cursor. Now, even though it's online, you still get prompted to download very small 1.18 megabytes installer, which I don't know what for. You can actually use the recorder without it. Also where program starts to show its weaknesses is with audio quality. Setting low or high audio quality will still give you the same bitrate of 128 kilobits per second, which is actually considered low quality. Even worse, this program has one major landmine. Do not forget what key combination you need to press to stop the recording, which is Control alt f2 if I recall correctly. As there is an option to hide your taskbar, once the recording starts, you will not be able to access the program unless you press the combination I just mentioned. However, even with these holes, it's still very easy to use this program as it comes with bunch of life-saving options, like showing countdown before recording and bunch more. Even if you might not want to use some options, they are still there for you. And again, let's not forget, it's an online screen recorder. And finally, number one, you guessed it, OBS Studio. Get everyone out, turn the machine off, shut the lights, lock the door, it's over. One possible bad side is, you need a solid computer to use this damn thing. Also, be aware of your audio settings, as you need to be sure you set them correctly, otherwise some audio tracks might not be recorded happened to me multiple times. Still, with tons and tons of options that work and make sense, lots of customization and luxury features, it's simply impossible to put this one anywhere but on top of the list. I really can't focus on good things, as really there are many. Now I'm sure you heard this one. One bad side of this program is how overwhelming it can be to get into. But really, come on. Everything is, and we're supposed to advance to the next level, so why stop now? Once you master it, you'll be on top in no time. One tip, treat this as a TV studio program and you should have easier time understanding it. It's open source and has vast user base, so if you run into any issues or confusions, the community is there to help you out. So guys, there you have it, top 5 list of the programs I personally reviewed and can recommend you to try each one and check them out. So really quick summary, ShareX, Cam Studio, Flashback Express, a PowerSoft online screen recorder and number 1 OBS Studio. Of course, feel free to leave your list in the comments below if you do have any preferences, if you like a certain program, feel free to recommend it. If certain program out of these makes your headache, let people know in the comments what's wrong with these programs. And that's about it. Thank you so much for tuning into this top 5 list. Do check out my series where I review these free desktop recording programs. Uh, and especially I do it in a more non-professional way. I go with you one-on-one -on -one to say so, you know, I'm more human than instead here I gotta create a script. Come on, man. Anyhow, thank you so much for tuning into this one. It's been a pleasure. Do subscribe and I will see you in future videos. Priest, signing out. Thank <laughs> you.
Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'm a